Well, what is in a name? Facebook's hoping a fresh start after announcing its parent company has changed its name to Meta. But a new moniker doesn't fix old problems that have plagued the social media platform for years. And they're still claiming victims in Chicago tonight, impersonating people to scam their family and friends. CBS 2's Marisa Vedra has one Ashburn woman's warning. I'm pissed because my identity was stolen. It takes courage to admit when you've made a mistake, but any embarrassment Vera Waters has about what happened to her is outweighed by her desire to warn you. It started when a cousin messaged her on Facebook in July about a government grant. She was telling me that she got the grant and you don't have to pay it back. And she's like, you want me to give you a scoop on it? I'm like, well, yeah, sure, you know, go for it. The promise was for thousands of dollars, with pictures of checks and transfers serving as proof it was legit. Waters wanted to pay off her debt, so she sent her personal information and made this video as directed. I thank the government for approving me of this grant. It's real money, and you don't have to pay it, pay it back, and everyone can apply. Thank you. They just really, you know, try to, you know, make you just really believe that and you knew. Shortly after she realized her mistake, it was scammers messaging her, pretending to be her cousin. Soon after, she says she was locked out of her Facebook page. Then the hackers took to that video and back. turned it around and to try to scam back. Waters' friends. And then a lot of my friends started um, inboxing me, you know, telling me you, that the person came to them and was trying to get them. And they went to Facebook's help center to report Waters' page and get it removed. But in an email, the social media giant said her profile doesn't go against community standards. And you would think that Facebook would see all of this stuff and stop it. You know what I'm saying? But no. It's been almost four months since reporting it, and Waters is fearful that the video she made back, could still be hurting others. I don't want the next person's identity to be stolen, you know, to be a victim of identity theft. We reached out to Facebook to ask why Waters' account isn't closed, and we did hear back from a spokeswoman. She asked for some very specific information about Waters' account, which we relayed, and she promised us that there are teams that will look into this. We will follow up to make sure they do. In the loop, Marisa Vedra, CBS 2 News.